everybody, Rox here. Thank you for tuning back into the channel. Today we have something pretty fun for you. This is going to be the top five reasons why you should be using a shotgun in airsoft. And I hope you enjoy it, I hope you stick around, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Before we get started on the list, I've got two cool shotguns here right in front of me. Uh, the first one is going to be this SEMA tri shot. This is the metal version. Feels really good. This one is spring powered. Um, takes your standard Tokyo Marui uh, shotgun magazines. I believe it is a clone actually of the Tokyo Marui M870 series. Um, but all I know is it's good, it's cheap, it's fun to use. The other one I have here, something a little cooler, I think, is going to be the Jag Arms um, scatter shot. This thing is gas powered. You load gas right here into the bottom. It's got an internal reservoir. Uh, takes your same Tokyo Marui uh, shotgun shell magazines, but it's a little more tactical, a little more fun to use, uh, easier to pump, uh, but it's fun in its own way. They're both really cool. So, first reason to use a shotgun in airsoft. You want something that is going to be fundamentally different in operation from any other gun out there. When I talk about this, um, how shotguns work is they take these shell style magazines. Now these look like your regular shotgun shells, um, but they are more like magazines in the sense that each one is gonna hold 30 rounds. And every time you pump a shotgun, it's going to shoot load three and it's going to shoot three. No other airsoft gun um, in existence works like this. This is probably the closest thing you're gonna get to an actual shotgun, unless you start getting into the crazy ones that eject shells and use like all sorts of other stuff like that. It was a really cool topic for a different video. Um, but yeah, they fundamentally work different. And because of that, you have to understand that uh, you're getting into something that's different and you have to change the way you play and you have to change the way that you, you understand like how the game works. Um, the cool thing about the Jag Arms one is there's actually a switch uh, inside of it. And when you pull back this, it exposes a switch right here. And that switch, and it's going to change it from three to six. Now, no other ones do that. Um, only these ones do, uh, but it's really fun. So instead um, of getting 10 pumps per magazine, you get five. And that adds to the challenge and that adds to the fun, but it spreads out more. So it's really fun to use. Uh, I can recommend it um, if you want something that's a little different. Number two, you are looking for something that is going to add a little more realism to the game. Now, similar to the last point, the way that the shotguns operate is, is similar to a real one. Uh, you're not gonna be getting any shells ejecting, right? Again, unless you start going to some of the crazier ones that do, but you gotta pump it every time, um, and it's got a really nice, nice sound to it. So, um, just to be, be safe, uh, there's nothing in the chamber. I racked it already, as you saw before, um, but it, we're, we're clear. I have personally cleared this thing before the video, and you're gonna be safe. So, and you pull the trigger, it's got a nice, a nice, cool sound to it. So, every time you pump it, it's got, a, it's got that tactile feel, and it, it feels like you're, like you're, you're operating a real shotgun. I've, I've shot real shotguns plenty of times before, and the way that these things operate is, you know, with, with, a, with their, their feel, and the sound, and everything just feels like super cool. It's got, a, it's got a loud retort when you pull the trigger. It's super fun. It's, it's scary to other players on the other side. Um, and, and yeah, so the realism factor is, is a little higher and you're going to be rewarded um, with that uh, by, using, by using a cool gun um, and enjoying, enjoying your time with it. So number two is you want something a little more realistic. Now, number three, it's going to tie a little bit to the previous ones, but you want something that is challenging. Now, anyone can go and buy an airsoft gun and you know, tune it up and get it so it's got the snappiest response by an HPA system that just destroys people, blows people out of the water, shoots laser beams, um, and that's all fun in games. But sometimes you want a challenge. And what better way to do a challenge than to buy something like this? 
And when you're operating these things, again, what we were talking before, every time you pull the trigger, you have three shots. Um, you are locked to a pump action. You are stuck doing that every time you want to shoot. I mean, unless you buy something that's semi-automatic, like the AA-12, but that thing's massive and you're getting to a whole other slew of challenges then. Um, but you're, you're stuck with, with pump. Um, so quasi-semi, quasi-single shot, um, you're stuck with close range. Uh, the, the spread, like if you set it to shoot six shots per, you are going to be, um, you, the amount of gas that comes out will, will limit the range. So you're stuck at close range and you have to focus on positioning more so than other guns. Um, so if you would like a challenge, consider getting an airsoft shotgun. Continuing on with that point, um, Although it is more of a challenge, when you do get the kills with these things, it's one of the most satisfying feelings ever. There's there's nothing like like beaming someone with three shots, in which they don't hurt terribly much because, you know, they're not the most powerful. Um, and when you're shooting a whole bunch, you're losing the air compression is different, so it's, you're not hurting people. But when you get someone with a whole bunch of shots, or, you know, you, someone's running and the scatter hits them, like, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. Number four, you want to be the most intimidating player on the field. When it comes to CQB, um, everyone's got, you know, CQB guns and a shotgun is no different, but there's something about being on the receiving end of a triple burst that no one really likes. And when you start talking about the Jag and you're getting into two, six bursts, it's like, yeah, people, people, people are intimidated by you and well, inherently, it's not really an, an intimidating thing. Like, you know, you're still just playing airsoft, you're still just shooting pellets. Um, yeah, people people still seem to get scared by it. And you can use that to your advantage uh, by like running up on people and, and getting them. And it's super fun, I, I recommend it. Um, you know, some people might be like, oh, you know, it's too powerful, but they've never really, you know, they've never really been on, on the receiving end and they don't understand that it's 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 not that bad. Um, but regardless of that fact, um, it's intimidating. They they see three round bursts, they hear the sound of it going off, and they're, you know, they get uh they they get scared. Um, so it's if if you want to be be that guy with the big scary shotgun on the field, uh, which really isn't that scary, um, buy one and you won't regret it. And the number one reason to buy a shotgun in Airsoft is because you want to, and they're just plain fun. As we've talked about with so many of our other videos, Airsoft is about looking cool and doing cool things and having fun. And if you look at and you see one of these things and you're like, man, I would absolutely love to have a shotgun for myself and, you know, just do all the cool things that come with a shotgun and have fun doing it, then this is the thing for you. Uh, they do not cost a lot of money. So this SEMA here, this thing costs 68 USD, <laughs> which is basically free when you're talking about airsoft. There's, I have paid more than that for single magazines for other guns. And it gets even cheaper if you're looking at the, uh, the plastic versions. So I got the metal ones because I like the way that they feel, but they are cheap. The Jag, I think if you're to buy this thing brand new, I paid used for it um, with a whole bunch of the attachments and stuff. If you were to pay for this thing new, I think it costs maybe 300. So yeah, it's compared to so many other things, it's it's nothing. These shotgun shells here, I think for a pack of three, it's $10 or probably less. And yeah, the, all of these guns here, they work with all these magazines. Um, it is just fun to use and you will, you won't regret it. You'll, you'll buy one and even if you, you know, even if you die your first few times, so you're getting used to it and whatever, and you know, it's a little bit more of a challenge as we talked about before, you're going to like it and you're going to use this thing and you're going to have fun. And that is the number one reason why you should use an airsoft shotgun is to have fun. So I know it's a little bit of a different format today. I hope you enjoyed this little mini list I did. Um, if you like what I do, again, as I said before, like, subscribe, do all the usual YouTube stuff. And yeah, we will, uh, we will see you next time. I hope you have a great day and have fun out there playing our slots. Bye.